My name is Lex Pot. In this tutorial, I will show you two really special techniques of working with candles. The first thing we will do is actually bending a candle. What you need is some hot water. The desired temperature you need is around 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. So what I'm doing now is putting a candle inside the hot water. Make sure you dip the candle under water for approximately five minutes. So you can really allow it to become flexible and bendable. Make sure the candle is under water and rotate it slightly. So what is really crucial now is that you take your time to heat up the candle evenly. This usually takes around four to six minutes. Ultimately, the right temperature will not melt the surface of the wax. If you see some wax on the water, it means that it's slightly too warm. As you can see here, I can slightly bend it. It feels flexible, nice and easy to work with. Since the candle is warm, you only have approximately 30 seconds to a minute to make your final shape. Therefore, it's really crucial to already have an idea of what you actually want to make. So I just took out the candle from the water. I dried it a bit, not to have any water drops on it. What I'm trying to do now is create a base for the candle. So the top part, we leave it vertical and the bottom part, we will twist and turn. Of course, this is totally up to you. You can really make it into your own signature piece and your own design. Now that I have the shape that I like, it's really crucial to stop the process of bending. If I would leave this on the table, it would slowly bend back into its original shape. What I have here is a small container of cold water. This will allow the candle to cool down rapidly and hold its final shape. You just hold the candle on the water for 10, 20 seconds. You know that the candle is actually ready when you can't bend it anymore. So now the first candle is ready. It cooled down and we can actually see what we did. So this was actually the first example of bending a candle. Of course, there's many other different ways, but I will show you one more option. So now I took out the candle and it's actually the right and perfect temperature. What we will do now is place the candle on the table, get the rolling pin and make sure that you start flattening it from the center. You can actually also rotate the candle to make sure that you flatten it easily and evenly. What is really important is that you make sure that the bottom will stay intact. This will make it much easier for you to place it in any type of candle holder. Now I'm actually going to twist it. As you can see, it creates beautiful torsion and some kind of a helix. Make sure sometimes on the table, you check if the candle is still straight. Of course, depending on what you prefer, you can also make curves and make a combination with the previous experiment. Now the candle is ready. Of course, it's still warm and flexible. Therefore, I'm now going to dip it in a bucket of cold water again to stop the process. While it's cooling down, it will actually still give you a bit of room to correct the shape of the candle. The technique that we focused on now is deformation bending, shaping and changing the shape of the candle. However, in candles, you can also think of pouring wax or using a mold to create your own candles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more and see more experiments, such as wax, wood, metal, even polyester, make sure to check out my online course on Domestica.